Today, the textile industry is one of the most polluting industries globally. Besides generating air pollution throughout the whole value chain, the textile industry is known to be a water-intensive sector, producing a high amount of polluted wastewater. It is estimated that from 2015 to 2030, water consumption and CO2 emissions will increase by at least 50% under a business-as-usual scenario. The volume and composition of the wastewater depend mainly on the used raw material and the textile production process. In 2019, well over 100 million tonnes of textile fibres were produced globally. The demand for textile fibres is estimated to nearly double by 2030 due to population growth. A way to minimise the environmental footprint of the current textile production is to reconsider the raw materials used in the first place. So, which are the textile fibres that are currently used? The main materials are fossil-based synthetic fibres, followed by cotton and so-called man-made cellulosic fibres, which include wood-based fibres. Synthetic fibres are based on fossil resources whose extraction and processing cause largely documented negative environmental impacts. Another much discussed drawback of textiles made of synthetic fibres is the fact that they break down into micro and nanoplastics. Though cotton is a renewable resource, its cultivation requires irrigation water, arable land, fertilisers and pesticides that increase its negative environmental impact. In addition, population growth will reclaim more land and water resources which will severely limit the increase of cotton production. The demand for alternative sustainable textile fibres is evident. But which will be the fittest solution? Cellulose is the most abundant polymer in the world and the main component of wood. Thus, as a renewable material, wood and wood-based fibres could become relevant in helping to solve the challenges related to the textile industry. But why are man-made cellulose fibres not already largely used in the textile industry? Currently, there are some bottlenecks that hinder their wider use. First, the raw material base to produce man-made cellulose fibres is limited nowadays. Secondly, the solvent systems currently available for man-made cellulose fibre production are often based on toxic or explosive chemicals. Thirdly, the textile production value chain is based on water-intense wet processes, even when using wood-based fibres. Is there a way to unlock the current bottlenecks and enable a sustainable production of man-made cellulose fibres in Europe? Yes, and Grete is aiming for that. Want to be updated about Grete's progresses and opportunities? Then get in touch. Follow us on our social media channels and subscribe to the Grete newsletter now. There is a lot to discover about man-made cellulose fibres produced from paper-grade craft pulp.